What is going on YouTube? Bo here, and I'm showing you the process behind this fantasy piece I did for a tabletop game that um, should launch a Kickstarter pretty soon. We will see. I don't know. My job is just to paint this. So the example that you're seeing in front of you is basically a situation where the client says, we know we want, you know, a big guy and like a warrior and we like your work. So we trust your vision on how it's going to come together. And uh, that's basically it. So you're gonna see a lot of what works and what doesn't work and Right now. I'm just taking like soft brushes and painting up the background. I've got a couple of special effects brushes back there and Right now I'm playing with like the lasso tool and trying to see if I can see some uh, shapes in there to serve as my background and I think that's gonna be the big takeaway from this lesson today is to not be afraid you know, don't be afraid to put something on the canvas. I think that there are, I know there's a lot of rules in art and it's overwhelming sometimes to be like, well, you know, I've got to follow this, you know, perspective rule and these uh, color theories and all this good stuff. But don't be afraid to put shapes on the canvas. Some of the best pieces, some of my personal favorite pieces uh, that I've drawn or painted have been from just accidents that happen on the canvas that I decide to keep or things that my brain interprets as human shape. You can see right now that I'm just trying different shapes, something that doesn't necessarily look like um, a human, but maybe, uh, you know, my brain will interpret it as an interesting character. You're also going to see me jump around a lot. You know, I work on, you know, on the silhouette down here, and then I go and I try to put this beast together. I like to do that. It makes me see the whole scene as, you know, kind of the big picture, and it saves my eyes from a lot of frustration from just focusing on something. So, you know, the simple shape that I've I've uh, made down here was just essentially a triangle, and now I've kind of started seeing a warrior out of that shape. So what I've done here is I've kind of given the implication that there are two light sources. So the right side, I've given a orange or red-orange light source, and the left side, I give kind of this uh, crystal ball that's kind of hanging from his belt loop, and that's going to give off a green hue. And I kind of like that. I like when there's more than one light source because it sells the form better and it makes things more interesting. So again, you'll see me play with some shapes over here and lay down some stalactites or stalagmites. I forget which ones point up from the ground. Anyway, I put some around the character that way it kind of brings the attention towards the character. We share equal focus between the character and the beast. And the last step, I'll put some colors over the whole piece with another layer and overlay. So if you like this, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and check out my Patreon. Do me a favor and hit that up. Stop by. I'll be putting up some cool rewards. If you have a cool idea for some rewards, let me know. Thank you all very much, and have a great day.